we believe that this message will be a blessing to you so I want you to stay glued and watch to the end and share to bless others this is Christocentric we have a lot of Apostle Eric Nyamiche's message on our platform kindly check them out thank you for watching stay blessed Jesus Christ is the end of the law that those of us who believe in him will live in a new form of righteousness. In Christ Jesus, God demands a new order. God has established a new covenant in Jesus. And he, Jesus, is the mediator of this new covenant. With the new covenant, there is a new kind of righteousness. By the coming of Jesus Christ, righteousness by the law of Moses is rendered obsolete. There is now a new way of righteousness. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone. Everyone. Jew Gentile. If you call upon the name of the Lord, you will be saved. All of us now have access to God through Jesus Christ our Lord he has died for all of us so everyone who calls upon him will be saved now, today we want to continue and my topic is Israel substituted in the new covenant mediated by Christ Israel is now substituted in the new covenant mediated by Christ in the old covenant God's people were men of circumcision. And with a body of laws. From a particular race. Now they were Jews. In the old covenant. I, God's people. Were men of circumcision. And with a body of laws, they were from a particular race. They were Jews. In the new covenant, God's chosen people are totally different. In this presentation, I shall attempt to give a glimpse of who these new people look like now as we go through Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 to 10 so I shall attempt to let you know who the new covenant people or the new creation is the the church, according to E.M. Bounds, is looking for better methods. Oh, yeah, E.M. Bounds or can be if I saw anyone say, I saw any in the Pacobia, I watch his share, a coin for fro. But God is looking for better men. That's when you're going to be a nipa, papa. And I want to announce to you that these better men are created in Christ. Now, if such people avail themselves to God, they will be a factor of change and transformation in this life. No weapon fashioned against them will prosper. Now, they are a people amongst the people. Men clothed with power and glory. Ephesians chapter 2. I've hinted that we'll be going through verse 1 to 10. So we take the first 
three verses. As for you, now Paul speaking to his congregation, Jews, Gentiles together. As for you, but this you is particularly referring to the Gentile congregation. You were dead in your transgressions and sins in which you used to live when you follow the ways of this world. And of the rulers of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. That was who we were. Now about verse 3. The verse 1 he says you. As for you. So now he is talking to his congregation. And he says as for you. So what you were saying. Somehow, it didn't include himself. Verse 3. All of us, Jews, Gentiles, also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts like the rest, like the rest of the world. We, we Jews were by nature deserving of wrath. Now, we mu ana anka yin yin an sonam bo yem bra yem hunam akunumu na ye ye di yem hunam ne adjene pe ne na se di yem awusu ti ano ye ye bufuma ti se wonga akano enso. So, by the standards of God. In the new covenant, He condemns the Gentiles, and by the standard of God in the new con covenant he condemns the jews and what you said you and you upon in susu yet here obu amama mufo and you the phone in a effort now by the standards of god paul condemns the gentile and to watch her send you and you upon she said you know paul obu amama mufo and you the phone in a for yes verse four shall we read together if you can it was when you know you can come away but because of his great love for us god who is rich in mercy? Now this particular version separates but and God, but most versions will put them together. So let's take other King James, uh, NLT, or ESV. So which one is this? The old man? No, verse four. Shall we read together? But God, comma, now listen. The words, but God. Form one of the most significant, eloquent, and inspiring transition in all literature. Now, when you hear about God, it means there is going to be an about him. There is going to be a transition. Either for better or for worse or for good. But God, these two words, they indicate that an amazing change has taken place or will take place in any literature. We now you follow your, your Bible closely. Now when David had done all he could do and had, he thought that he had buried the matter between her and Bathsheba effectively, then he said, bad God. It means that uh, yeah. 
So God, Paul is condemning the Gentiles. He has also condemned the Israelites by the new standards of God. But God, despite the condemnation, but God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love with, with wherein he loved us. Hmm, what is going to happen? There is going to be a change. In this instance, it is a change from being in the kingdom of darkness to the unspeakable delights of the kingdom of the sun God loves. From death to life, if you are from disobedience to saints of God, see the altar of the change, the change. But God, the change is God Himself. No one could have done it. And no one else would have done it. See, one characteristic of the blessed one, our Lord and Savior, is that he is rich in mercy. He is rich in mercy. Have you all say rich in mercy? Rich in mercy. Now he shows mercy to us sinners by not treating us the way we deserve to be treated. Mercy is being pardoned for the evil you deserve. Mercy is being pardoned for the evil you deserve. Now the reason for this intervention of mercy according to verse 4 is simple. Because of his great love for us. See, I always say that because the devil did not create us, when he is destroying us, he doesn't care. But the one who created us has love for us. And he's interested in our redemption. So what has this bad God achieved for us? His great mercy. What has it accomplished for the human being? In this new covenant. We'll take from verse 4 to 7. From 4 to 7. But no, so okay. But because of his great love for us. God who is rich in mercy verse 4 you read verse Nanso o Yakobon a ne mobro hunu do so no nam ne do bebre a o de do yen no so Now listen it made us alive with Christ even where we were dead in transgressions Am I young a anka ye ye wufo en from so mu no ne Christo enyan kwa What is the next line it is by grace you have been saved. But God. Who is rich in mercy. In the new covenant. Has made everyone who believe in him. Alive with Christ. Despite our transgression. And scripture says that it is by grace you have been saved. And verse 6 says that. And God raised us up with Christ. 
and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. So as a result of God's love exhibited in his mercy towards us and because of his redeeming grace we who were dead in our transgressions have been one made alive together in Christ. Christ Number two, he has raised us up with him. Number three, he seated us with him in heavenly places. These spiritual expressions describes or this expression describes our spiritual position as a result of our union with Christ. And I like the verse 7. So let's project the verse 7. It says that in order that in the coming ages he must show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. Now, one of my children was so young, about two years. And then this lady came to our house with some demonic Issue. And I decided to cast the spirit out. So my boy was sitting on the floor. Then I will shout in the name of Jesus. And the lady will scream. And my son will look at the lady's face. No, you will look at me. And I will shout again in the name of Jesus. Then my son held my leg and asked me, What is going on? What is going on? Because the lady is screaming and crying. See, I'm not beating her. See, we have been lifted. We together with Christ. So that there be honor, there be honor. So that one day, in one the day, coming age, in the when we, we flex our muscles on the devil, principalities and powers will know the wisdom of God in lifting us up so that we would deal with kingdoms of darkness. I am praying this evening that your eyes of understanding will be enlightened. That you will know who you are as a Christian. And who you have become in this new covenant. He acted as our representative not only for us but with us very important he didn't represent us that is only for us but with us he also identified with us therefore when he died we also die when he was buried, we were buried. When he was raised, we were raised. When he was seated at the right hand of God, we were also seated with him in heavenly places. 
This is Ephesians 2 verses. This is scripture. Whether you believe it or not, it is settled in heaven. We have been lifted. And we are seated in heavenly places together with Christ. That is why he is the heir of God's throne and we are joint heirs with him. Now how far has he been seated? And where are we also seated? Now Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 19. Now we together. Something on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Something on the inside is working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Something on the inside is working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Oh, what a change in my life. Something on the inside is working on the outside. Ephesians 1 from verse 19. And his incomparably great power for us who believe. The power is the same as the mighty strength. He exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly realm. So he, he raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the heavenly place. The Bible says, verse 21, not just above, but far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in this present age, but also the one to come. Far above principalities, powers, which is demons. That is why James says that you just submit yourself to God. And he says, resist the devil. Because he's right beneath you. Resist the devil. Far above. So we are also lifted far above principalities and powers. So when you hold the microphone in church, don't disturb us with demons. Now, don't frighten us with their presence. We don't deny their presence. But we are seated far above the authority and the oppression. All we need to do is to submit to God and for them we don't even fight them we resist them and they will flee from us for by grace are you saved now verse 8 are you here hmm. for it is by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not from yourself it is the gift of god not by works so that no one can boast i've added verse 9 
mienu inyimu watwene se na adom na wode nam gidie so agye mo nkwa emfri muara e yo nyankopon akyede emfri nyuma mu na obiara anwawa ne ho now we have already mentioned that mercy means we don't get the punishment we deserve ye di kan e bodi se mobrohunu ne se boni ayaye ne hunsu nsanso no wode afri yen but grace on the other hand means we don't get we do get the salvation we don't deserve na ohia adom no ene se enkwandi anka emfata ye no wode adom ye we get it only as a gift not as something we earn that is salvation now we know ye nya no sa chede ye enya bibia ye adwuma enya so let us hold it don't let us sing it or let us hear a teaching that salvation is a gift but let it let it sink into your spirit that salvation is a gift of god mum ye nwura ye nhum ni paduani mu mum ye nka ho nsam ento ho dwom keke ne mum ye nsom ni nwuru se nkwaje o wey e ye onyankopon achede what is a gift e die ni achede a gift is a free unconditional present achede ye adie bia enyina hwe ye so wanye ho adwuma na odi ama this is a gift e ye achede e free unconditional present what they achieve what they are more qua ah when you want to manage in your baby bia if you have to pay anything for something and the person says it's a gift it is not so who person would you have baby cat no the bread what and you actually if you have to do anything for something and the person says that this is a gift Meanwhile, you did something to receive it. It is never a gift. This is the only basis in the new covenant by which God offers salvation, free gifts. The gift of God is salvation by grace through faith in the finished work of Christ. It is not by works. Onyankopon achede a wode amaye no eye nkwagye a na madom so ene gidie mu eba yen ho we e fri Christo nyuma wa wie ni mu na ya chede e. So salvation is not by works. Enti nkwagye wo we en fri nyuma mu ene eba. It is not something a person can earn through supposedly meritorious deeds enya dia obi betumi abre nya na madwuma bi a waye so dabi no good work qualifies one for salvation enuma pebiere ni wa e betumi abre o enkwagye why adintia the reason is simple enina so ye tie tie so that no one can boast ten e be ya obi biara enwa wa ne ho simple so that no one can boast so that god will say that i gave it to them for free he doesn't want to share his glory with anyone and he doesn't want to own anyone salvation is gifts so that none of us who are born again can ever boast what is the result of salvation verse 10 for we are god's handiwork created in christ jesus to do good works with God prepared in advance for us to do. Na ye ya na dia oyoye oboye Kristo Yesu muma nyuma pa onyankopon asiesi ato ho se ye nanti mu no. I like this verse too. Wey, ye ya mi de ye pa 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 pa. The result of salvation is that we are his workmanship. Nkwagye ni nsunsanso ho ne se ya beye onyankopon na dia waye. I like the tree idea the lord himself has intentionally made the handiwork of god himself no a born again believer is a masterpiece of god you see masterpiece of god his masterpiece is nothing less than the new creation 
through union with Christ. Now we know a ya body for fra and nam Christo Yesu mwa yon kofa and a edeba. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, and we tina se obi ewo Christo mwa by this new covenant, ewo a pamphu fra yubuno. The new creation has come. A body of fraud and I bet you the old is gone. And no matter the new, the new is here. Now for fraud and you need the new creation is a person not just created in the image of God, but created in Christ to be like God. No question, this a body for fraud and yen ya wab. Bono se onyanku pon suban sonko ne mo wa bono Christo Yesu mu se omra me se onyanku pon. What does this mean? We ni chile mo ni created to be like God. Se wa bono se omra me se onyanku pon. You know I like this verse Ephesians four twenty nine. Me need from the end. If it's a four omano eighty nine in yimu edu nun krono hupa. The first day I chance on. Four twenty four, as you say, Ephesians four twenty four. I chance on the scripture. They decamp uh, here. I thought maybe they they have made a mistake. Na eya e mi se bi ana from so bi akoso baby. But when I meditated, I realized that this one is is so true. Na so me do mo suko no na me hu say we e ye no create do. And to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness na mo nse onipa fofura wo born o nyankopon suban so no kretin ni ni ahotie emu god this one was prophetic concerning jesus kwase mse we na eye disem a wo ka e di afa christo ho the old creation was created in the image of god the new creation is created to be like god ni pa dada no wo born no e wo nyankopon suban so na ni pa fofura no de wa Say Omra Messet Yankopa. What does this mean? We a dean and the new one in the new covenant is qualified to stand in God's stead as a child. Nipa what born of full flow Christ or yes, Mono or to me, Jina or Yankopo, and him so Yameba, and him, and capable to live a truly righteous and holy life. Now, or to me, but in a and a brabo crong crong. Qualified to stand in the stead of God as a child. To me, John, I'm going to put one name so when you're me, bah, my pa. So I know, be team. Ready, ready. Hey, are you ready? Like I said, can I help you? If you are there, you hear somebody calling upon God. God, where are you? Show up and ask. So meet me up, wow. Because the God you are calling up onto, He's in you. It's something you are not His rep on earth. Stand there and by faith execute and let heaven know. That you are a good representative. I mean, I walk friend on a tumu into Bomodi and you muddy. Let Jina or no soon who knows, would you know me? Do it and report. Yeah, now for whom why a coma or What is the object of the new creation in the new covenant? Nipa, what born for fro, a pump of remuno, a ding and in a botai. The object of this new creation is found in the phrase for good works. Now, ni awa chile ni se wei wa yeno edi ama enyo mapa. Why would God have a new covenant and then a new creation simple for good works? Adi niti nwa nyanko pa on ebe nya pam fufro ni wabbo ni pam fufro ni ti ane se o yedi ama enyo mapa. For we are God's handiwares created in Christ Jesus to do good works. It's an se yo nyanko pa on sa nu nyuma o bo yen Christo yesu mu edi ma enyo mapa. While it is true that we are not saved by good works, it is equally true that we are made for good works. A womb said, and you knew my pamunti, and a year, and I yen ya, and quangia, the announcer, what boy, and your ma in your mapa. Now, works of true righteousness and true holiness in this perverse world. A boy, and your man, you mapa. This new creation is a people belonging to God Himself. Eager to do what is good. Now, a people belonging to God who bring joy to the earth. Ah, what the energy? A brilliant thing, na. Titus two thirteen and fourteen. Please read Titus two fourteen and 
13 and 14 when you go home. But let me say this, brothers and sisters. This is just a glimpse of the new creation. A product of the new covenant. He is greater and much more powerful than I have than I have tried to describe. His circumcision is by the spirit. The law is written in his heart. He is adorned with power and glory. If such men allow the Holy Spirit to fill them, they will confine Satan to hell forever. But you see, it was not enough for Jesus to save individuals and make them spiritual giants. He wanted to put them together. As a community called the church. So next week, if God grants us the grace, we'll be discussing the new community made up of new creations, a people created to be like God, who will now take over as the God substitution for Israel. So we shall start discussing the church as the substitution for Israel. I want you to make a date with us. But as we end this evening, we want to pray this word into our spirit it is not enough to listen to the word of god let us pray into the word into our spirit so we can live by it maybe you have listened to me and you are not born again see but god who is rich in mercy can save you. So if you want to be saved, I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord, today I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. And I accept Jesus as Lord. I repent of my sin. Be my Lord and Savior forever. If you have prayed this prayer, sincerely, you are born again. Join the Church of Pentecost. Or any Bible believing church. So that will help you grow to become a great disciple of Christ. So may the Lord bless everyone that heard the sound of my voice.